It is super easy to just spruce up your child's lunchbox and really surprise them with something fun. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing with you just two ideas for Valentine's Day themed lunches. So I theme their lunches all week long, however, I like nice and easy and things that my kids are going to eat and things that are not going to take a very long time for me to prep in the morning. Um, so I just kind of change it up a little bit each day, just little tweaks, whether it be like the snack package that I add in is a little different. I'm going to show you a couple ones that I picked up just so you can see what they kind of ate over the course of the week. But the easiest thing to do is use cupcake liners and cookie cutters and that's it you are good to go your your child is going to be like yay this is amazing even if just use just doing those two little things so i'm going to show you guys a heart themed lunch and then one that is all about unicorns but before we get into those let me show you guys the little snack bags and packages that i picked up just to add that little bit of easiness but with a valentine's day twist into their lunch boxes don't mind the background, my kitchen is under construction. <laughs> but these are the fun things that I picked up just to add, like I said, as an extra treat. Some of these, my twins are in kindergarten and they take snack for the whole class once a month. So these packages or these boxes that have like 50 in them, I have split and put some of them in their backpack to take the class for everybody to enjoy. So these are the things that I picked up. Like I said, every single holiday they have, Black Forest comes out with their themed, we call these gummies, chewies, fruit snacks. Um, oh yeah, fruit snacks, fruit flavored snacks is what they're calling them. But my kids say gummies and chewies, but they're just Valentine hearts, watermelon, strawberry, and ch cherry flavored. They're 70 calories per pouch. Not the best thing, obviously, but this is something that just spruces up the lunchbox. Uh, also, Cheez-Its are a family favorite. We love those, along with the pretzels. That's an awesome thing to add to your kid's lunchbox. And I love that they're X and O. That's a lot of fun. Peeps, of course. And then I ripped the bag to get these, but these are veggie chips, garden veggie chips. They are mini hearts with sea salt. My kids love veggie straws, and these taste just like it. They absolutely love it. There's no artificial flavors or preservatives. And I'll show you the size of the bag. This is actually a little bigger. I split this between my three kids when I'm putting it in their lunch box because again, I don't wanna waste food. I only wanna put in there what they're going to eat um, and the amount that they're going to eat during you know, within the amount of time that they get for lunch. So I don't do anything crazy, just nice and simple, but this size is perfect for them after school as a snack so they will each get their own bag. So that's awesome. And then this is something that I'm going to do for lunch, but I'm not going to film because this is one of those things that's going to take a little bit more time in the morning. And I know by the time I'm done with it, they're going to be rushing out the door. <laughs> so I got, I found this organic heart pasta at Williams Sonoma. You can probably find heart pasta several other places. I just happened to be in one of their cooking classes at, at the time and I saw these and I scooped them up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this like pasta, boil it in water, and then my kids love their pasta and their noodles with soy sauce. So that's all I'm going to do. Put a little soy sauce on it, a little butter, and put it in their lunchbox and they're going to get a kick out of it. So I wanted to go ahead and explain this one for their lunchbox because yeah, I'm not going to have time to film that in the morning. <laughs> That's one of those things that I do not do all the time because again, I am all about nice, simple and easy and quick. I did want to share with you guys this little kit. I picked this up at Walmart. The packaging is already gone because I've already used some of it, but it comes, this is a cupcake kit. It comes with the picks. It's got this little unicorn sitting on a rainbow. And then these picks, they have a magical Valentine's Day. Has the cupcake liners. I already had these that I purchased last year. So I'll just be able to save those. And then I have some sprinkles as well. So now that I've showed you guys some of the goodies that I picked up, let's get into the two lunches that I created for them. First Valentine's Day themed lunch. This is actually more heart themed. Well, I guess hearts are very Valentine. I'm using this Systema Benta lunchbox. It is pretty large. One of my kids' lunchboxes this won't fit in, so I have to use my oldest daughter's lunchbox. 
Um, so just be aware of that when you're buying containers. I had no idea this wasn't going to fit um, when I purchased it. So I picked up all of these at Walmart. Like I said, I do have three lunches, but my filming area is super small, so I'm only going to be sharing one with you, but they are all exactly the same. So when they open it, this is what they're going to see. I made them a quesadilla, and I don't give my kids a ton of food because they always come home with food. They don't have a lot of time to eat. Uh, they probably have enough time to eat, but of course they're children, they're gonna be talking with their friends and not just eating the whole time. So I try to make it very light. So I just have one small quesadilla here, and all it is is cheese and tortilla that I heated up in the microwave, used a heart cookie cutter, and then these are little veggie chips. I wanted to show you the package. I just split one between all three of them. So they're mini hearts, sea salt is on them. They love these. And um, we buy them in the straws, the veggie straws, and they just eat them up then over here I had to show them what it was kind of cut like a puzzle but the picks that I bought the carrots are just too thick for that and I knew that was gonna happen but I did just slice the carrots at an angle in half and then you put them together and they look like little hearts so that's what's there under that is strawberries and I just cut off the top and it looks like a little heart. Not a perfect heart, but again, it's just cutesy for the kids. There you go. So they've got four fairly large strawberries each. And then under here, because these lunch boxes are so big, I include their juice box in this bigger portion. So there's nothing extra that I have to put in their lunch box. And I found these Capri Suns at Walmart. Nothing like the flavor is still the same. It's like a berry, but it is a splash cooler. So it's just flavored water. And it says Valentine's on it. It's got a little tic-tac-toe here. The back is just plain, but I thought that was super cute just to spruce up again adding something extra for Valentine's Day and then they are getting a special treat I only buy these around the holidays for their fun lunches I don't buy these you know regularly throughout the year for their lunchbox but this is a Valentine ding dong it is a heart like a chocolate cake it's got some filling in the inside and little heart sprinkles on the top. So that is their little sweet treat. But that's what they're having for lunch for Valentine's Day themed week today. The second lunch is themed more towards unicorns, nothing super fancy. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is just to spruce up your kid's lunchbox using a regular thing. So I found these really cute napkins, Believe in Unicorns. So I'm putting one napkin with each of the kiddos. Remember, I am making three lunches, just showing one to you because they are all the same. So we're going to open it up. And on the top here, I just use a flour cookie cutter because there are flowers on the napkin. I don't have a unicorn cookie cutter and it's just turkey and cheese. Again, I am using those veggie hearts because my kids enjoy them. And then I'm just using cupcake liners to spruce up the produce that I put in their lunch box. So this is what the liner looks like. And I didn't put it in like you would a cupcake. I flipped it inside out. So as they're eating, they are seeing the unicorn and the flowers on the cupcake liner. I also put in some picks just to make it fun because I did put in some cherub tomatoes as their veggie. So those are really fun to use with picks. And then I put grapes. These are two of the easiest things, like I said, to use with picks. And this pick says, have a magical Valentine's Day. These came as a kit uh, from Walmart. Came with some different cupcake liners and I'll be using those as well, probably during Valentine's Day. It's just the little things that spruce up the lunch for the kiddos. And then under here, again, because this is a very large container and there's not a lot of room in their lunchbox, I did put the same Capri Sun, pretty much just flavored water. And I found these little Cupid's Crunch Trail Mix bags at Target. So this is their sweet treat. It's got peanuts, candies, and little cookie pieces in there for them to enjoy. But this is what I threw together this morning for them with a little unicorn twist. 
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed those two different lunch ideas. I gave you an idea of what I'm gonna do for that third one, but like I said, that morning it's gonna be a little hectic. So if you love themed lunches and packing your kids' lunch boxes, even though it can be a little stressful if you're like me and not a morning person, give this video a big thumbs up. I try to do one of these for every holiday because it is fun for my kids and I like to share ideas with you guys and I love watching these kinds of videos because it gives me ideas. So subscribe if you are new. I would love for you to join my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow with my grocery haul for my family of six. Come back tomorrow. Bye guys.